Hello everybody, I am Surat Chetri, I am an optometrist and today I am going to talk about circle of least confusion because it, its clinical significance is so huge and I will talk about many clinical practical you know, things which we deal with circle of least confusion. So let's just begin. So I am going to talk about circle of least confusion with example and in this example we have vertical meridian and horizontal meridian which is different and as we know circle of least confusion is most used in case of spherocylindrical lenses so this is the spherocylindrical lenses in this case we assume that the light comes from one meter uh, one meter distance which is 100 centimeter distance so virtually if light comes from parallel then it means plus three here and plus five here i hope you know that optics and as we know plus 3 and plus 5 here the first uh, the more powerful vertical meridian with this is the line which comes to here and forms a horizontal focal line and the second weaker portion of uh, horizontal meridian comes to focus from this line at here and it forms vertical line so it's simply horizontal meridian forms vertical meridian from horizontal line and horizontal meridian forms vertical lines and the space between these two lines is called stumps uh, interval it stumps interval and which is obviously the difference between two power which is two adapter cylinder and the circle of least confusion by definition lies in midpoint dioptrical midpoint between two meridian uh, here we know the dioptrical uh, uh, dioptrically first meridian and second meridian is equal from the circle of least confusion but not linearly this is really important to understand that circle of least circle of least confusion uh, lies dioptrically center not linearly so it's linearly closer to the five diopter or vertical meridian but uh, horizontally it uh, horizontally uh, but horizontally it lies away from uh, the three diopter focal line focal point so circle of is always located diopterically at the center and <coughs> How, how do we know that what is circle of least confusion actually clinically circle of least confusion is spherical equivalent spherical equivalent because spherical equivalent is a sphere plus sil divided by 2 let's see in this case sphere is plus 3 sil is plus 2 divided by 2 which is plus 4 and see the distance is 25 centimeter 1 by 0.25 is equal to 4 diopter so other and another way to calculate it directly add 5 diopter plus 3 diopter divided by 2 which is 4 so uh, circle of least confusion uh, don't confuse with circle of least confusion diaptrically center not linearly linearly may differ but diaptrically to center and circle of least confusion is the best image position of a sphere cylinder lens here we can get best image position so we try to put circle of least confusion at retina whenever we uh, refract a case we try to put circle of least confusion at retina and if you want to go through the small things with how where uh, how here image forms and how here image forms and how here image forms it can be on other books that uh, image elliptical and vertical and horizontal line and vertical line and these all these things but circle of least confusion is the most important point because we want to put circle of least confusion at retina so that we can get a best image best uh, vision for the patient and come to the clinical application what are the clinical application first and foremost clinical application uh, you do circle of least confusion when you have example patient with minus 4 and minus 1 seal at 90 and c one's contact lens not regularly but occasionally then you always do this minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to minus 4.50 DSPS and you prescribe this sort of spherical equivalent. You prescribe this spherical equivalent because spherical equivalent is circle of least confusion. 
in circle of least confusion you want to put the circle of least confusion at uh, retina and this is the most important clinical significance even in the patient where they are minus uh, 2 minus 1 at 90 and the, they are very uncomfortable with cylinder then in that case you prescribe 2.50 adapter which also theoretically you put circle of least confusion at retina and another so clinical application which very few people all know and we, even in students it, in case of equal mixed ischemic arrhythmia suppose plus 2 minus 2 at 90 in this case suppose this is retina and here is the focus of minus 2 meridian here is the focus of plus 2 meridian because the difference between two horizontal and vertical meridian are equal so the circle of least confusion always lies at retina so the better vision comes at retina so in this case there is always less chance of amblyopia or worse vision so in this case of equal of uh, equal astigmatism equal mixed astigmatism there is astigmatism there is a good chance of vision so these are the two very good example but these are not all the example but circle of least confusion is very important and it, you must understand it lies in the center diaptrically not horizontally and sometimes uh, people call this is uh, sagittal and tangential meridian and sometimes and all these things but whatever it is the it lies at the center of the meridian center diaptrically center not linearly center and it gives best is uh, best possible ima image in case of sphere cylindrical lens so, so uh, and another thing to understand is spherical equivalent in case of sphere cylindrical lens is a circle of least position is the same as a circle of position of circle of least position a uh, circle of least confusion you don't don't even confuse in your clinical practice if and if anyone wants justice then you can explain it because of circle of least confusion you are doing this and this is there is a, you can get a best image as possible so thank you so much for the listening and i will meet you in next video